subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Yo, peace to the gods and the goddess, man. It's your man, AJ McQueen. AJ the Great. Right now, you watch watching Danny Houston. Yeah. What's going down, man? It's Danny Houston Podcast. I am Danny Houston. Check it out, man. Uh, we got a special guest today, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's been doing his thing in H Town. Originally from St. Louis, man. He's an MC, thought leader, entrepreneur, man. AJ McQueen. What's going on, man? Peace, peace, peace. Glad to be here. man? Yeah, blessings, blessings. Yep, yep. All righty. What's the word, bro? Sure, man. Glad to be here. You know, I, mean, I appreciate you opening your, you know, your space and, you know, uh, energy exchange. I'm always appreciative, of, you know what I'm saying, of that. So, for sure, for sure. No, I, I've been watching, bro, seeing what you've been doing, man, and, like, you built, like, you're building your own communities, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got the, the guy body thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's everything you're doing, we were just talking about branding. And I can say, like, when I watch your thing, you know what I'm saying, whether it's how you present yourself uh, visually, you know, the content you bring to Instagram, musically, just the things you, you talk about it's all it all's together bro like, like you say god body is that the god body thing for you like yeah. break that whole thing you know uh god body um uh, god body energy god god is in my body mm. you know what i mean and um for me um i grew up around you know what i'm saying the five percenters you know grew up around um you know supreme mathematics and everything um you know my grandma's councilwoman um, did you grow up around it or did you grow up like being like taught it, it? like yeah it taught it you know what i mean my uncle was he's a more you know what i'm saying high, high priest you know what i mean um and more scientology so he used to call me from prison he did 30 years in the pen you hear me um and you know since i was a youth he used to call me and, and on the phone on the jail phone just you know what i mean just give me the give me the knowledge give me supreme mathematics and um for a long time bro i, I navigated away from it you hear me because um I didn't really know myself, you know, enough to 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 make it make sense, you know what I mean. So it took me a long time to get to where I'm at now, um, but um, that's why I coined everything with God, God body energy, and in simple in simple forms, it just means God is in my body, and that's what gives me energy. You heard me. Um, now for those who know, you know, the mathematics, you know, what I'm saying that we can we can you know. You know, we we could talk about that. You know what I'm saying? What's yeah, go ahead. No, because I mean, right? for anybody you know watching, you know, in Houston, that's not really a Houston thing. But like, yeah. I'm just super hip hop. So anything that touched hip hop, I usually right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You super Wu Tang and all this other shit. So when they was talking about God Body and the Supreme Mathematics and all this, you know, not yeah. yourself and all this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I've done my deep, my dives into that. Indeed, I mean, indeed. talk a little bit about it. Though. Yeah, no, you know, for me, I feel like um, where I'm at in my journey is to be able to uh, to translate the language. You hear me? Because um, I know from where I'm from in St. Louis, you know, um, and, and probably a lot of other places in the world, um, knowledge that's not uh, broken down and um, that's not intentional has a way to make people feel inadequate. You hear me? And small or, 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 or ignorant, you know, to the fact that we're ignorant. You hear me? But we don't know what we don't know. You know what I mean? So for me, um, I never want to get that off. That's why, I, you know, I'm not... I, st- I stray away from a lot of institutions that give off that energy of um, of um, looking down on people. You hear me? So for me, you know, God body energy in simple forms is just, you know, me communicating to a person that God, God is in my body and he's in your body. Now, if you want to argue about his facial features, you hear me, or what he look like or, you know, uh, his gender, all that, that's not what I do. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's not my goal. You hear me? Uh, my goal is to... Um, being an ambassador, you know what I'm saying, for, for the most high and in the most simplest forms, a message that I can take to the hood, to the trenches, to the slums, and that I can take to the White House, you know what I mean, and to, you know what I mean, to shit out of space, you know what I mean, I can tell E.T. the same thing, I can, we, we can go, because I feel like God is holistic, so it should never be a space where God can't be communicated. It's crazy you say that because somebody may look at this and they may be from other backgrounds and I me mean, talking about God, body, God is, you know, yeah. God, and I'm God, it's not. It's no different than like Mary Mary when they said it's the God in me. It's same just thing. understanding like yeah, yeah. the way it really works, dog. It's like, the same thing and but but what makes this a little more um hard to digest for some, you hear me, it's the confidence that I said in. You know what I mean? Like, like who it's, is it's, he to be t- in this right, like, it's, nah, it's, it's, you should have that as well, though. We all should. Yeah. All of us yeah. should. You know, yo 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 when your you come out the womb, they should have it. It should be instilled, you know what I'm saying? It should be instilled all the way down to the to the youngest, to the oldest, to whether you rich or you, or you, or you are, um, I don't want to say broke, but you, you or you poor, or you on without, humble, on you know side, what I'm saying, yeah. right, or um, whether you, um, whether you driving what you want to drive, or were you, were you catching that metro, God is in my body in, in, in all aspects, you hear me, and so that's how I operate, that's how I choose to carry myself, again, not in necessarily a religious form, um, but more so in just a, a understanding, you know what I mean, because I believe when we get closer to God, we get, God mirrors us and shows ourselves, mm. so knowledge of God is knowledge of self. Mm. There you go. 
<laughs> there you go, man. Take it back to uh, for people to understand. It's like, man, what is this dude talking about? Take it back to your story, though, bro, yeah. because I think it's important to understand how you even arrived to this point. You know yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, uh, growing up West Side St. Louis, you hear me? Like, um, I know a lot of people, you know, just get on platforms or music and talk about them being from the hood, but nah, bro. Like, I'm from. If you can, you can look up Wilson. You hear me? Wilson, Missouri, in St. Louis. You know, I'm from one of the worst parts in America. You know, you can. St. Uh, Wilson, St. Louis specifically is top, is, is number one, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in murder and, in, in, you know, in violence in America, you know what I mean? I, I so, didn't know that. yeah, yeah, n- number one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, and, you know, we, that's where I come from. And inside that St. Louis, I come from Wilson, you know, West Side. So, um, I'm talking about to where you open the front door, you know, poverty, prostitution, gang bang, you know, drugs, you pick, you pick your poison. And for me, um, those are my circumstances and growing up in a dysfunctional household to where, um, you know, my mom and dad, you know, separated when I was three. So for me, I never had that, that, um, that functionality, you know what I'm saying? Or that, that, that right foundation rather. So, um, shit in, in the streets is just about getting wherever you can get love from you know saying so, i don't never like to give off this poise as if i was some gorilla in the streets bro i wouldn't i'm a survivalist though you heard me and i've done i've done any and everything i needed to do to survive you know what i mean um and so that you know being in a household with an abuser i grew up i grew up abused you hear me like like my mom boyfriend used to used to torture you know what i'm saying like what was it a reason behind it or do you think he well, just he just this was just his thing yeah well in retrospect you know um um he uh um, his son was murdered you know what i'm saying and and you know so i feel like he took all that on me you hear me? like that's how i look at it in retrospect in a sense of being murdered like let me try to protect you from things i may see you doing and like yeah. straighten you up type shit a little bit of that but it but it but it or was just the pain that just lit, yeah it, it, it was it was all that you know because i again in retrospect i i, I you know, I forgave we him. We look back and right. we try to, yeah. Yeah, I, I forgave him, so I was able to look back at it. But at that time, you know what I'm saying, being um, being seven years old, I got hit, in the, hit me with an OZ in my head, like a, uh, and, and then, you know, his reason. Wait, 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 Yeah. wait, wait, wait. What happens before this? Like, what leads to? I left to the TV on. I fell asleep with TV on. So you wake up to Uzi. You know? Uzi getting he he had the, he had the whole thing. He brought it up in there. He pulled out the clip. He he took out one of the bullets. Say, boy, I will put one of these in you. Put it back in there. Did like that. Hit me. I got a gash in my head right there, and I had to go to sleep like that. Ain't no comfort. Ain't no nothing. So I, I went to sleep in fetal position. You know what I'm saying? Like seven years old. So this is my upbringing. You hear me? And I got four sisters. So I'm the only boy. You what, 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 what do you fall in the in the? Age? Oh, I got I got a, I got a younger sister. You know what I'm saying? One younger sister. Everybody else older. You know what I mean? So, so what were your older siblings when this type of shit going on? Uh, well, two, two uh, was with my dad. You know what I'm saying? So it was only me and my big sister in the house and my mom. So there's the abuse that's happening to me, you know, um, directly as being a boy. Then they were abused too, though. My, he used to beat my mama like crazy too. Mm-hmm. So for me, um, I'll never forget. I was like nine years old after, after my mama got beat. And she was like, you know, promise me you will never disrespect a woman. And at nine, you know what I mean? Like, I I don't really know what that means yet. Um, and that plays part into how I am with women as of today. You hear me? Like, that, it, it really does. But, you know, like I say, that at that time, and I, I had this mission. I had this mission as a youth to kill this man. You hear me? So I remember when I was 12 years old, I had snuck in his room because I knew where he kept his guns at. You know what I'm saying? And I had a whole planned out. I, I grew up with vitriol, like, you're not finna keep on, you know what I'm saying, doing this. But again, I'm small. I'm like, I'm like 90 pounds. You heard me? Like, you know, I'm a kid. You know, but the streets grow. Yeah, you that know, shit in your heart though. Yeah, 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 it was in my heart though. You know what I'm saying? So I literally, I'm talking about like planned it. Like, so one day I'm like, okay, cool. He ain't here. I went in his room. I I I pulled the little the little uh, trunk from that he had under the bed. You heard me? Um, I grabbed the I grabbed the nine. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed nine. Checked it. Boom, boom. Like say all that. Um. The bathroom was connected to his room. So I ain't see the car out the window. So I'm thinking he ain't there. No, he's in the bathroom. The car at the shop. So, you know, he come out the he come out the door and Oh, you in there making all the noise doing you And I and I up it on him. Did he knew you would did he, did he already tell like he finna walk into you fucking with his shit or he didn't know nah, that's he what knew. he was in his room? But the the thing that made that so weird was he ain't even he ain't panic or nothing. Like I, I squeeze trigger gun jam. He he was so calm. It's like he wanted me to do that to him, bro. Like I, I, I'm talking about, like he had that look in his eye, like like he get I know it. I this coming. Yeah. You heard me. Mm-hmm. And um, but the gun jam, 
And and then I thought he was gonna hit. I thought he was gonna, you know, what I'm saying, try to kill me after that. He just took it, like get out. And that day, you heard me like I went upstairs in the room, so much anger, and I couldn't get out the house because he used to lock us inside. He used to, used to, we had to have a key to get out the house. Like he he used to put the deadbolts on the inside. You heard me, so he wouldn't let us out. So I just sat up in there, and I just I, I thought about jumping out the window, but I, but I was on the second story. Like I, I'm telling you as a kid. So all that is my mindset. My only therapy that I had as a, as a youth was writing. Kids, you not. I I wrote as a as as a youth. I wrote. You know what I mean, and that was my only form because I ain't had nobody to talk to about it. You heard me? Um, Are you whole, writing it in the form of raps or poetry? I didn't know like, what it was at the time. You know, in retrospect, that's it, you're just getting it all out on the yeah, paper. more so poetry. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, I didn't know what to call it. And as I'm going to school, all the type of stuff, I'm, I'm in the hood. Everybody know that you know this person. Like in the hood, everybody know. I was so embarrassed to be in the hood because this man used to beat me in front of people. Like. The, the, you know There was people that knew You know what I'm saying That you know Like this This AJ, situation AJ, at yeah, home Yeah everybody man. knew that You know what I mean And so Cool Nobody's trying to step in And, and, and like Yeah People My my my, uh, my daddy actually Came over there one day You know And um Tried to confront him You know what I'm saying But he I'll never forget He had uh, My mama boyfriend had me in the headlock, he my daddy came to the door, but he had he had a gun on the side. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm scared. I'm a child. I'm scared. You know what I mean? For my daddy, my daddy ain't on that. Like he that that's just he he really want to come in. You know whatever and step in. But you heard me. Um, in retrospect, um, you know, um, I, I was I was told my dad was a deadbeat, but that actually turned out to be a lie. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like that for a lot of men who aren't given um the, um the capacity to be there for their child. You heard me. Um, uh, you know, so my dad was never deadbeat. And and I um I always say that on interviews because I said it I said it loud when I thought he was so it's important that I say it loud that I know he he's not so I said it on uh, when I was on BT uh, when I was on 106 Park I broke my dad heart you know what I'm saying Cause I said it to Terrence and Roxy I like yeah my daddy my daddy wasn't around and it's you know so what I'm crazy bro this so this is so real because my my me and my dad's situation it's not like that but I have a different point of view and I would have if I'd have been in a position to have a mic at a certain time. I would have said some shit I probably would have regretted. Right. I get that. Yeah, and, and so that's why I say on every platform, I literally retract that statement. He, My dad's no longer here, but I'm going to say it every time. My dad's never dead beat, you know what I'm saying? My dad could not, he was not given the, the proper um, space and capacity to be a, uh, the dad that I wanted him to be. You heard me? And, and at that time, I needed to protect this man. Literally, like, I'm talking about, like, he used to beat me to where I couldn't sit down, couldn't stand up, nothing like that. And I was so embarrassed. So I grew up Where's in what is it? What is your mom? Is, was he the one fronting the bills and shit? Is that why your mom yeah. felt like shit? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I, you know, in retrospect, I forgive her too. You heard me? But at that time, I, I'm, I'm a child. So fast forward, I'm, I'm, I'm in school. Like I said, I'm from, I'm from 6400, bro. And so and, and I'm, I'm from where. Ain't no clicks, ain't no, ain't no, we don't make nothing up. Your address is your game, bro. Like, if your, my, you know, if the address is 6425. Like Cali. Then, like, yeah, then yeah, that 6 four is where you at. I'm 6400, you hear me? So, um, you know, um, so I, I became active at like 13, you know what I'm saying? Um, and active as in just, you know, being around them gangsters, you know what I mean? That's what, you know what I mean? Like I say, not not doing nothing, this and that, but ready in for. In that mix, though. Yeah, ready for, ready for whatever, you hear me? Like, I got OGs, like all that. Um, and, uh, you know, for me, um, um, I, I was sent, so I had got into some stuff at, at school to the point to where they had threatened to shoot up my mama house, you know what I mean? And um, uh, I knew something was going to go on. My mama ain't know, because, again, I'm cut from a cloth where my mama, you know, I gangbang. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cut from that, you know, these days a little different. Like, I respect my mama so much, you heard me, that I kept that stuff separately. But when I walked out the house, that flag come out of my pocket. When I, you know what I mean? It was never... You know, so um, um, they called the house, you know, they was like, yeah, you know, they had me on three way with, with, with the opposition, you know what I mean? And so I never forget, I went, I went to my mama and I was like, uh, I need to, uh, I said, I need to get away. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm 15 at this point. And she like, get away. I said, ma, I need to get away. And it's like, she, you heard me? And she felt me. She's like, where you want to go? And now the only place we've ever been before was Houston. <coughs> only place, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never been nowhere. I was hurt when I was I was hurt for two years when I was eight, you know what I mean. So, um, um, we went to school. I went to school with her for two years. Come to find out, we was running from her boyfriend, but I ain't know that as a child. So, so when, when did you first come in? What, you, what age is this? I was eight. You know what I'm saying. Oh, so but, not long after the Uzi shit. Right. Yeah, I was eight. You know what I'm saying. Um, and we we was hurt to run from him, but he ended up finding where we was at and took us back to St. Louis. So yeah, but it's the only place I had ever been. 
So when she asked me where you want to go, and I had met one friend, her, when I was in Houston. And so I was like, well, I want to go to Houston. And so she called the family and said, and asked, could I come visit? They said, yeah, you can come visit. Cool. Came here for the summer. I was here for three weeks. I'll never forget. You heard me? And I wasn't this eight-year-old no more. I'm 15. And like I say, growing up, the way I grew up, and, and, and a lot of people in the streets, the streets grow you up fast. Your whole posture, your whole mindset different, your tone different. You heard me? You're not a child. So when I when I came here back to Houston, you had that aggressiveness on you. Yeah, you heard me. Like it, it wasn't it wasn't like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like my inner child, my innocence gone. I didn't see I didn't see people get shot. Man, I'm I'm, I'm we poor. We, we you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing my mama's shoes to school. Like I ain't got nothing. So my innocence gone. And so um, I never forget the lady, Miss Johnson. Much love to her. I said in an early interview, man. She um she came to me one day. Well, no, we had got to an argument, you know what I'm saying, in the crib, because they were trying to make me go to church and, and, and pull my pants up and all that. And, I, you know, um, and we got into an argument, you heard me, and I was like, I'm going home. And um, I called my mom and said, man, I need a train ticket because we couldn't afford the plane, so she used to put me on the Amtrak. And um, she, uh, she was like, okay, cool. The next day, you know what I'm saying, I was, I was supposed to leave. My mom, uh, Ms. Johnson, came to me crying, and she said, don't go. Uh, you know, God showed me a vision. She said, I opened the door. She said, God showed me that you was beating on my door, and I opened the door, and you had bullet holes in you, and you died. And I was like, you know, I don't, like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That God stuff just words to me at that point. You heard me? Like, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing God, but like I said, where I'm from, I don't know what you're talking about. So, I, 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 so religion wasn't a part of your growing up, other than your nah, uncle calling you with this, this is as close to right, anything like that. At that time, at that time, for sure. Um, and so, and, and then the times I went to church with them while I was while I was staying here, but it was foreign to me. You heard me? Like I'm not really understanding. Like you know, I, cause I ain't grew up seeing no white Jesus or nothing. In my house, we got everybody black in the Passover. Adam and Eve pictures black, so I don't really. So it was a, it was a racial disconnect for me. You know what I mean? So I, I just went with it. And she was like, God showed me you had bullet holes in your back, and um, you died. I was like, I, you know, okay, whatever. You heard me? Uh, went home. Um, I met the crib on, on the west side, and um, um, I get a call from one of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's in the neighborhood that I grew up in, because the neighborhood I was abused in and the neighborhood that I'm from are two different neighborhoods. Mm. At this time, you know. So 64, where you from? 64. But you abused, and, and, you wasn't standing there. Right, no, 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 no. When I was abused, that, my mama went over there, but, but that plays part into what I'm about to tell you, because it's turf, it's different things. Like, we talking about, we talking about blood and BDs, and we talking about Crips and GDs. You know what I'm saying? Like two different hoods. But I was a child when I when you know. Now I'm 15. I'm 15 years old. You hear me? And um, my mindset a little different. So I go home. I'm 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 at, I'm at, I'm I'm, in, I'm on the west in the six four. My partner called me from the five nine. Say, bro, uh, we out here finna make some money. You want? You know what I'm saying? What he didn't tell me is that he was. He was with the uh, it's crazy story, bro. He was with the he was with my abuser. He was with the man I grew up with, cause they he was cause we kids we can't we ain't driving so they pull up to pick me up. But he's driving the truck and I ain't seen this man in years. And I'm but but it's like it's this word trauma bond, right? Because you beat the hell out of me for years, but you also the only man I know. So it's like I hate you, you know, but I feel safe around you because I it's like the devil I know. You know what I mean? Mm. So I get in the I get in the truck my, and my my partner's in the back hatch. So we about to go we about to go you know what I'm saying you know do some do some stuff and but I had on I had a red t-shirt on black jeans red feelers and he was like you need to take that red off. But by this time I'm like bro don't you can't talk to me no more like I'm like yeah I'm battling with this like but I'm a, I'm I'm like a young man I'm like you can't talk to me like so I'm. He ended up pulling up to the hood, to the, the house that we, you know, I got beat in. And he's like, I'm finna go in there and get you a shirt. You're not finna have that red on around me. Um, he walk in the house, and it's like me and seven of my partners. And um, next thing you know, dog, this green Saturn fly down the street. And um, this dude sitting on the window, sitting out the window, you know what I'm saying, over the car like a movie, you hear me? And um, and uh, I thought they was finna do a drive-by. So... I dropped everything. You know, it's that initial shock. You drop everything, but they never shot. And so, uh, you know, and one day, it's, this is going to be a biopic, bro, because it, it, it has to be. But, like, they drive, they whatever, they, they yelling. So we start throwing up, you know what I'm saying? Sets, like, and then we young. 
you know, um, and then start, you know, start talking shit, all that type of stuff. Um, and then an hour later, you heard me? We had walked to the store and everything, bro. An hour later, dog, I'm standing in the driveway and I see something out the peripheral of my, um, you know, but I, it's like I saw, but it was too slow. Dude, it was one dude, you know what I'm saying? And he shot the whole block, bro. You know what I mean? And out of seven people, I'm the only person that got shot. And, um, and uh, I didn't know I was hit, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, adrenaline and all that. I'm running, and I'm, I ran to the back of a truck that was in the, in the, in the driveway, and I'm in fetal position. Who name you think I'm screaming, bro? I'm screaming the man that beat me my whole life, but that's the only man I know, bro. I'm screaming his name out loud. You heard me? You know, them bullets flying, all that. And he come out shooting. It's a whole it's a whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And um, smoke clear. Woo, woo, I get up and try to walk to the den. I'm limping and everybody screaming. They looking at me. But I'm not seeing my 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 situation. You hear me? And um, they they um, they was like sit down, sit down, whatever. And my mom was so messed up. I'm arguing with them. I'm like, they ain't gonna shoot me. Like, and they and this is what they told me. Like, they were like, hey, Jay, you yo, it was this pride in me. It was this, it was this, it was something in me. They didn't want to believe that. You hear me? Cause I, I'm a Leo, bro. My mind said is, I'm invincible, dog. You hear me? Like, I'm invincible. Like, and so that was me as a child too. Like in early hood I was in, I was a leader. So I'm like, nobody gonna shoot me, bro. They shot me. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I get on the porch and I sit down. What did they hit you at? I got I got two. I got I inch away being paralyzed right here, and I got another bullet hole right there. Like, and they was like, I mean, they smaller now, but they, I mean, you know, they, yeah. So, um, and I fell on the porch. You know, what I mean, the light hit me, and then that's when I seen I got shot. And um, and then I tried to stand up, and what's crazy, I tried to walk inside the house, the house I grew up in. Cause the car come back down the street, you know what I'm saying? And then the man who I was with, I never forget this, bro. He he, imagine me trying to walk in the door and he's put he got his hand on my chest saying you're not gonna get that blood on my carpet. And to this day, I came to a conclusion that he want me to die, bro. You know what I mean? He used to always blame me for him and my mama not being together. So I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. I know. This is fucking nuts. I know, I know. It's it's yeah, yeah. Like he imagine, bro. I'm a child, bro. Like they already they shot, they came back, bro. They spent the block. And, and I'm trying to walk in because I'm scared, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because this is somebody who raised me, kind of, you know, it was a big part of my upbringing. And so the, 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 the child of me is like, like, let me in, like, let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me shelter. That man said, you ain't finna get your blood on my carpet. You know what I'm saying? They good. And he had his gun on them and they came back, you know what I'm saying? It's a shoot. But I'm, 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 I'm ducking shots while it just messed my head up, bro. And so the ambulance came, bro. And they they loaded me up, you hear me? Um, and I'm in the hospital, and my 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 mama my mama showed up first, and it was that look she had in her eyes, bro. Like that's what changed me, though. It wasn't them shots. It was the, I'll never forget the, the the look in my mama's eyes when she came on the side of that bed, you hear me? And my mama ain't never expressed love to me, but that 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 look was like if I would have died, she would have lost. Concern, yeah. So I don't know, like that that was. A, it's sad that that was the first sign of a mother's love for me. You heard me, but that's the first sign of a mother's love for me. So I saw that. Then my daddy came. You know what I'm saying? He tried. He had his gun on him. He, they locked down the whole hospital because it was gang related. You heard me. And um, uh, my cousin, she get up there and she said, "AJ, how you feel?" I said, "Call Miss Johnson," because that's the lady who prophesied I was gonna get shot. And so she called Ms. Johnson, and Ms. Johnson prayed for me, went up in prayer, like, instantly. And that's when, that's when my, my belief in God really, like, manifested because it's like, man, I know the way they shot the block, bro, I was supposed to be dead, bro. Like, if you would have looked at the scene, you would have been like, where was you standing? I mean, I'm right here. And so Ms. Johnson, you know, I'm praying for me, all that, and then I, I'm battling now because Ms. Johnson tell me I can come back to Houston, like, on the phone. But then... You know, I'm in the hospital and 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 I got I got you know I'm my partners calling around they like boy you, they boy, you got them yeah you heard me say you know this that and, and then they like I mean you got your stripes now you good like I'm I mean, I'm young this 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 in the 2000s bro so where you know saying on Instagram all that so that hood shit was that hood shit like it was enclosed it it was all we had you hear me it 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 felt amazing to you know what I mean to the block man AJ AJ man they shot AJ woo woo. But my partners did go on that get back, man. I lost three partners that same night. You know what I'm saying? So uh, rest in peace to them. And 
I'm in the hospital, me and my mama arguing because I'm battling. Like my pride kicking in. I'm on crutches. I can't, I'm, I, I start off in a wheelchair. I'm on crutches. And my pride, I need help now. You hear me? I need some, I need, I need, I can't bend my legs, you know what I'm saying? And, and my pride kicking in. Me and my mama getting arguments, you know what I mean? She, and, and, and I'll never forget, bro. She was like, you going back to Houston. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to go because now I got, I, I feel like that, I feel like that nigga. You know what I mean? So she sent me back to Houston, bro. And that family, the same family that I disrespected, took me back in. You know what I mean? And that's where my story started, bro. They took me back in. Um, um, I had locks at the time. They made me cut them off. They said made me like a thug. And I um, I ended up regrowing them, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, And then they, they you know, it, I started to yield to them. You heard me? And, and they and they rules. You know, you know church. And, and they live in A-Leaf. So... My my Houston origin is A Leaf. You heard me. Um, um, I went to school in A Leaf. You know, what I mean, graduated Hastings High School. You know, what I'm saying A Leaf. So that family took me in, and then um, that's where all this start came from. You know, what I'm saying, like say the the knowledge. You know, which their they background was more Christian. You know, what I'm saying, but that compiled with my supreme mathematics and everything. You know, what I mean, gave me a sense of of God, a, a different view on God, and that's what's reflected in my music. That's reflected in my community work. That's what's reflected in everything that I do. Um, but my life ain't get it didn't get better at that time. I they they end up kicking me out eventually. You know what I'm saying? I stayed with six different families. So they kicked so, you out for what? This is why uh, you still in high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got kicked out of high school. The, the lady, you know, the, the lady and the husband went through a divorce. It was bad. They chose to shelter their son, and I was just extra. You know what I'm saying? Collateral at the time. I forgave them too, though. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, I was just collateral. So and this is Miss Johnson. The people. This is Miss Johnson. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I love her to this day. She know it, but that's my truth. You know what I mean? They, 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 and she apologized for it. We talked about it, you know what I mean? But at that time, it hurt like hell. I felt abandoned, you know what I mean? So I, I, would walk, I remember walking down Harbor with, with a trash bag, and I, I, I stayed. And I'm, I'm in school, and they, the, the counselors and teachers passing me around, you know what I mean? Because they didn't want me to. If they would have found out that I they had nowhere to go, they would have sent me back to St. Louis. Mm. So everybody in A Leaf, and that's why I got so much love for A Leaf, because there were some teachers, bro, some counselors. That little, they knew my story. They would never snitch, bro. They like, man, AJ, you know, they make sure I had food and make sure I had shelter. They, they will get my hair cut for me. They, uh, uh, I, you know, yeah. And when New Orleans, when Katrina happened, they put me in these, uh, in these teenager center programs with them. So I end up going through the same traumatic, not traumatic, but I end up going through the same type of uh, structure and organization that everybody from Katrina came through because I was, I had trauma as well. And, um, they just passed me around, bro, and so, um, and I started rapping in high school. I used to walk around and pass my CDs out in high school, and um, um, I always had, I always had uh, a, a guy like confidence, though, I ain't gonna hold you, even when I was poor. In high school, I had no money, bro. I used to wear, I used to interchange T-shirts. I used to, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I wash clothes. I don't even know what I ate, bro. I couldn't tell you, but I'm gonna survive. I'm still here, so I started rapping in high school. I used to do talent shows around around A. Lee. You heard me, and uh, everybody knew me from the music. And then I was I would do leadership programs. I was the president of the Black History Society. I was in Pal. Like I want that leader in me was always there. You heard me. And I'm I'm at a young age, and it's all on YouTube. You can find videos of me at 17, bro, going around my high school, talking to them gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I always had a respect from people. Like, you ask anybody about me, check my background, bro, they gonna tell you there ain't no smut on none of my name, bro. I'm talking about from the streets down to her and Hughes. This ain't my city, but I'm, I'm, it's like I got a fresh Prince of Bel-Air story when it comes to this city, bro. Like, this city took me in. That's why Houston has a special place in my heart. You hear me? But all them gangsters in the school would tell you I would go to them, hey, bro, you don't want to wanna feel them shots? They like, what are you talking about? Like, you don't want to feel them? You, wanna, I mean, you yeah. hear me? Like, I'm telling them, like, you don't, you don't want to do that. And some, some went that route and some ain't heard no more. But, they, but I, I remember having conversations with them at a young age, you know what I'm saying, as if I'm an OG, because I am an OG. Where I'm from, shit, you make it past 16, you, you, you goaded. And that's where the music started, bro. So, and then um, i never forget after I graduated high school, um, um, uh, I was a part of a management team, and we got a call from BT 106 and Park. And they wanted me to come on BT to tell my story. They 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 wanted to do a teen violence special centered around my story, and uh, that's what I did. And that's what started this whole thing that I'm still here. They had put youth activists on the TV. I didn't know what an activist was. Never heard of it. You heard me. Um, and they put me on TV live, and all I was talking about was like God and Jesus. Because at that time, that's, that's how, what you knew. That's what I. That's how. That's the only way I could communicate it. Because I believe that God saved my life. 
You hear me? But that's what started it. And after that, I started getting booked across the country as a speaker, though. It wasn't on the music at first. I wrote a book when I was 23. Um, I, uh, um, I was awarded the Service Achievement Award from Barack Obama at 24. You hear me? Um, a lot of community work, bro. Like a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? I started a nonprofit um, that still exists to date. You know, a writer's block, 10 years strong. I give out turkeys, toys, backpacks every year. Um, on partnerships with the Houston Housing Authority, going there and do for, uh, free breakfast programs, uh, books and breakfast, things like that. Um, and I, I, I've done all that. You know what I'm saying? And I just, in the last three years, yeah, two, three years, I said, you know what? I've done everything. Let me get back on my first love of music. And so I feel like a new artist, you know what I mean? Because people know me for everything else. The community work, you know, I started a, I started a water company, an alkaline water company, Hydra Hill. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in a community with the people, activism. I didn't march for everybody. I, you know what I'm saying? I've been from, you can, you, you, it's all documented. I didn't march front line, like, because like, Mike Brown died down the street from my crib in mm. St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? I know where his body laid at. My auntie, my auntie knew before the, she looked out the front window and saw what's happening. So... I marched for, for Mike, I marched for Trayvon, I marched for Sandra Bland, you know what I'm saying? All them front line, like guns in my face, like, you know what I'm saying? With Ferguson Police Department, infrared beams in my eyes, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all, my mentality is, I'm a die for what I believe in. I, like, that's, that's me. And so, you know, that's what the community seen. Uh, um, um, I have my own day in Houston, you know, shout out to Mayor Sylvester Turner. I've worked, you know, with um, Congresswoman uh, Sheila Jackson Lee. I've been to the White House, State of the Union Award. I mean, State of, State, of, uh, State of the Union. I've spoken on the House floor, on the Capitol, you know, George Floyd Act. That's, that's what people know me for. I just got back to the music. And now, she, now all that, all of my life story, everything, you hear me? That's why it's it sounds like that. Yeah. You hear me? And my mom used to call me Baby Tupac when I was little because she was like, boy, Somebody going, she, she, she used to joke, but she like, well, somebody going to hurt you because you, you talk too much. I sound passionate. So the only platform that really made sense for me was his music. Because I could say what I want, how I want, when I want. You hear me? And it's, it's going to be digested for those who it's for. But I think it's amazing how um, that's evolved to, to um, life, bro. Like, I don't, you know, I, with my background. More than that. You're talking about mental health, anxiety. I mean, it's, it's more than just. Yeah, with my background, I can talk about them streets, though. I can, I, shit, it's, it's people out there that want my story, bro. They wish they, they, they want that. They want that. They want that grit. They want that. You know what I'm saying? All that. And what I just told you was just the highlights. You heard me? You know, I ain't tell you about the, the, the times my hand bloody, bro, because I'm, I'm, I'm holding up my partners. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the this trauma. This is all in St. Louis. Was going all in St. Like Louis. When I got her, I was, I was, I, I went through abandonment, bro. That's where my, like, my heart, like, I, I was poor. Like, I'm talking about, like, I ain't know where I. Nothing, but I was a hustling squad. I used to go to, I used to walk to Walmart, walk down Highway 6, um, um, right there. Uh, um, um, and I used to go and I used to buy candy and I used to sell candy at school. I did anything to keep some money in my pocket. When nobody sending me no money, bro. I don't even know what that feel like. So as an adult, I, cr I created my world. Um, and the God, body, the God body energy is, I say, you know what? I don't want to glorify no, no streets. And we're going to talk about this health, this wealth. We're going to talk about um, supreme mathematics. We're going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, we're going to talk about knowledge of self, knowledge of God. You hear me? We're going to uplift our women. You know what I'm saying? I promote no violence, bro. None of it. You know what I'm saying? But we stay dangerous. You know what I mean? So that's that part. But we don't promote no violence. And so my aura is my aura. I'm a minimalist, bro. I, I dress like this every day. You know what I mean? Because I, I went through phases in my life where I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be accepted by people to where I, was, I, I drove a car I couldn't afford. I wore clothes I couldn't afford. I, I was going to stores and buying stuff, taking it back. Bro, I ain't me, bro. Hey. I put on these chucks, these socks, whatever. And, and it's amazing how, that, how people recognize my aura when I walk in a place. And, I, and everything I got on is wholesale. That's my aura so to the point to where we're going we gonna to build up the community. We're going to be out here with the people. We're going to integrate vertically. And with the music, we, like, you know, we did Sway. We, did, we packing out. We packing out venues. We doing all that, You bro. just did some shit. What was it? Uh, Sony or something? Yeah, yeah. When he, when, uh, uh, um, uh, made the stage and Sony and them and, and uh, 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 Warehouse Live. We just, we just saw our Warehouse Live. Like, but I'm, I'm creating my own infrastructure, you know what I'm saying, to where I can integrate vertically, like, to where I can put my people in position and you know um we don't have to compromise it 
And that's me, bro. Like that's that's AJ McQueen. And I never, I never used to. I ain't knew my name meant nothing. You know, who told my name meant something. It was a, it was an older white lady, bro. I worked at a at a customer service job. I used to answer the phone. One day, bro, I said, "Fine, thank you for calling Manhattan Life." This is AJ McQueen. She said, "Who?" I said, "It's AJ McQueen. How can I help you?" She said, "Wait, wait. What's your name?" I said, it's a "AJ McQueen. How can I help you today?" She said, and she said, "I'll never forget." She was like, "You know how powerful your name is, young man." I, and because I used to rap under different monikers and stuff, she was like, "Nah." So it was that day. Like I, I've been saying my name, but now when I introduce myself, it's AJ McQueen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like my friends, okay, you call me AJ, but it's AJ McQueen. So that's the aura I give off, and not in cockiness because I know I'm replaceable. But I, like I'm humble enough to know that I'm replaceable, but I'm but I'm confident enough to know that it's a downgrade. I know that. I'm humble enough to know that I'm not better than nobody, but I'm confident enough to know that I'm 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 the best that, me ever. Yeah. And that's the aura that I want to give out to them kids. That's the aura I want to give out to anybody, bro. We here for a reason, man. God in my body, and that's 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 what we should we should we should spread that knowledge in in, in everything we do. So it's a greatness that I it's it's greatness that I that my music I want to help people understand that we got greatness in us, bro. So that's my aura, and and it, it it ain't everybody's cup of tea because people get intimidated by. But you know what you know though, what I mean? this is a, this is the thing. Cause I'm just talking. I'm like, man, because I be on that shit too. But it's like, if we all adapted that, you would have no reason to feel intimidated by somebody <sighs> walking in the room like, nigga, nah, I'm I'm God body, I'm nah, yeah. God body too. Yeah, nigga, I respect that shit. We know? all are like we we literally all of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even the people that that that's, that's not walking in there yet. You hear me? Like, I call I call my brothers kings. I say I tell my friends, my my brother, I love you. Queens them. Hey, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Nothing weird, no weird energy, bro. But I know everybody not there yet. So that's why in the music, I translate it. You know what I'm saying? And I get a context. I can get real deep. We can we can talk. I can talk over your head. Nah, bro. Like, I want to talk straight to your chest. You know what I'm saying? Because I want I want them. I want, and my music being played in the prison systems, bro, through J-Pay. The, the, the felons can pay for my music. And they, through the commissary, and they can play all, any hour of my God, bro. Like, that's, so nah, I've passed, yeah, I've passed on labels, bro. I've had people that look at my numbers and be like, okay, whatever. Nah, bro, if I can't own that, own that, and own that, and put this person there and do this, and then you support every community um, initiative that I have, then we can't do business, bro. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, and that's just what I'm on, and like it intimidates the, the wrong, it intimidates the wrong ones, but it's contagious to the right one. You know what I'm saying because they know that, like you know, we need individuals in that space. You know, people ask like, damn, where where the Martin Luther Kings at? Where the where the um where the Malcolm X is at? Where the Fred Hammers? We heard Nipsey's the you know what I'm saying rest in peace Nip that he big influence uh, on my you know comrade. You know what I'm saying? Like comrade, I ain't know people was calling. I ain't even, I wouldn't even hip to Nipsey too long before he passed, and that's just my honesty. It, it was like a little before he passed, and I was captivated. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. And it's because we spoke the same language. You know what I'm saying? People who don't know me would think, are oh, you? Well, nah, we, we actually were speaking the same thing. At, 17, at at 19, you can find videos of me. You know what I'm saying? Doing the same thing them did. You know what I mean? So everything that I do, I want to create different things. Like we we um we got the free food program we doing for the community. I want to build gardens in the hood, bro. You heard me. Um, through my water company, I was out when a winter storm happened, bro. I was passing out water. Like I, I went through my whole stock to make sure don't no elder, no want no woman with child, no child, no no child go without water, bro. And I ain't no press, no none there. I don't want no press, bro. If you see me, my th I'm 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 crazy enough to believe that people see good things, they gonna support good things. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've I've come to to learn that that ain't how it go. But that's okay though, cause that ain't stop the fact that it's done. You know what I'm saying? I I gave thousands of waters to an elderly home. We went through the we went we went we walked up in there passing our water to everybody, bro. This stock that I could make money from. Bro, I don't care about that shit, bro. Money's attracted to me, so I'm I'm cool with that. And then I'm content <coughs> enough to know I have what I have. So now I'm in this music space. And now that same energy is translating over to the music, to where I'm rubbing shoulders with the with the with the with the right ones. You know what I'm saying? My music being repulsed by Erica Badu, Indy Ares, the, the Talib Kweli's. Um, um, uh, my dog 19 Key just shouted me out on Sway again, and I and I, and I'm about to go back to Sway. Sway already told me to come back. Um, um, so that's the and that's off of the music, bro. But I, but I needed the journey. I needed the journey. So 
it's been times in my life where I'm like, damn, I should have, I should start rapping a long time ago. You hear me? Like, but, but no, nah, that wasn't the time for that. I needed, I needed the journey. I, I needed to go through all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But in Houston, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna say this right here, man. Um, I have a, in the, on the music side of things, I've always had a love hate relationship with Houston. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell you why. Um, because at one point of time, so this past tense, right? Um, I always felt like it was so, it was so, um, there's like these inner laws in Houston when it comes to music to where people like myself, you know what I mean, couldn't find a way to navigate those spaces, you know what I mean? Um, so it just made me feel like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I know I'm out here and I know people, people see my name run across their screen. You're, I know you, I, I know, it, even if we never met, you heard me before, right? And, but that's a beautiful, that, that's why I say it's in retrospect, because what I've learned now, you know what I'm saying? And now the respect level that I'm, that I'm giving from the people that I'm like, damn, I, I really like respect y'all and y'all, y'all journey. Like, cause I always feel like, man, if you ain't from Houston, it's harder to make it on the Houston scene because I don't sound like y'all. You hear me? Like my energy ain't, I ain't gonna slow loud and bang, bro. I, you know, <laughs> no disrespect to it, but that just ain't how I'm gonna do. I'm a lyricist. You finna get, you finna, we finna break down these words. You hear me? But um, I got a show coming up. It ain't we ain't promoters yet, but I got a show coming up in August. Uh, uh, me, Slim, Paul, um, a few others. Uh, um, I'm about to do. I don't know if you're familiar with 19 Keys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm about to. I'm, he coming here. I'm finna do that tour. Um, what I'm saying the is the 19 Keys and the Slim Paul. That's all the same thing. Separate, separate, separate. It's all separate. Yeah, and then we got we finna shoot out to Mississippi to do this. Um, me and Westside Boogie joined the show. But what I'm the reason I'm saying all that is because my my authenticity. That's why I always go back and forth because I don't like for people to think I just figured this out immediately. I didn't. But basically, why I said all that is, man, you're right where you're supposed to be. You hear me? And it took me a while to realize that Houston is where I'm supposed to be because I, as a youth, I was like, I'm going to make it and go back home. You hear me? Like, that literally is my mindset. I'm going to make it. I'm going to go back to St. Louis. I'm going to buy the community center right there. I'm going to buy my mama house. I'm going to buy that. My mama don't want, you want me to do that, bro. You know, she afraid they're going to try to nipsy me. So I know that that's why I do so much in this community in Houston, because this is where I'm supposed to be. And when you write where you're supposed to be and when you know that, the ones that's supposed to recognize you will recognize you in the right time. And that's 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 the whole uh that's the AJ McQueen story, you know what I'm saying, as of as of right now. Oh uh, good, oh <laughs> uh, good. Nah, nah, that's good, bro. And that's the thing that you say with Houston, it, it is kinda like, you know, if you ain't really kinda doing Houston, it's kinda hard to grab a Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I was saying. The platform is like this allows me to like you can get little Kiki on here and you get AJ McQueen. You know nah, what and that's, that's what I'm saying. That's beautiful. People like yourself, though, I feel like you know um, create spaces for um, I don't know, man, just just for organic just, energy. I, yeah, that and it's just our city. Our city. We one of the fourth largest city food. And I don't know if we always showcase the diversity within. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So city, I, I think it's beautiful, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Like I say, because. Um, I want people, you know, the right people to hear what I'm saying and hopefully, I don't know, man, feel, feel empowered, man, and feel uh, like that somebody can relate to them. Because I can get up here and I can throw around all that other stuff, but that ain't, that's not my mission, bro. Yeah. Ain't my mission, man. Yeah. That ain't for me. I'll let somebody else do that. Yeah, for sure. Well, man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Nah, it's love, bro. For sure, for sure. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. For sure, for sure. Well, hey, man, AJ McQueen. Standing you should podcast. Oh, your social media and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, AJ McQueen, you know, on all, on all platforms. Um, next next month, um, we doing another free food program, man. So if anybody want to uh, be a part, you know what I'm saying, and and and, um, and sponsor uh, fresh produce, you hear me? And the thing with my free food program is we we give out fresh fruits and vegetables. You know what I mean? Um, asahi bowls, uh, juices. You know what I mean? Like we ain't feed no, you know, no spaghetti, no no starches, nothing like that. No disrespect to that, but uh, my mission is a little. We're going to give them CMOS, you know what I mean? And this and, goes to who? Um, it goes straight to the home. So, so That's as far, what I say, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, through my nonprofit writer's block, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So if anybody want to see that, you can uh, follow um, um, at uh, We Are Writer's Block on, on Instagram. Or just follow me, shoot a DM, and I'm going to have my team uh, connect, man. But, uh, yeah, we out here, man. All right, so what's up, man? AJ McQueen, it's not even podcast. Hey, man, follow him. Check out everything he got going on. The music is dope, you know what I'm saying? His mission is dope, everything, man. The story is crazy. Bro, I appreciate you. Bro. Love, love. I'm ready. Yeah. We up out of here. Danny Houston. Subscribe to Danny Houston Podcast, man.